Hello and welcome back to On The Workbench. Today we're going to be doing a toolbox tour on my Masterforce toolbox setup. I should probably add first, this: the red collar Masterforce boxes are not available anymore, but they were purchased from Menards, and so far the toolboxes have held up well. We've got a couple other videos about these specific toolboxes, but today I don't want to talk about the toolboxes, I want to talk about what I keep in the toolboxes, so I can keep up with everything going on with my cars, my house, and everything else that I need to get done keep things going. So we will start, first of all, up top. So on my top cabinet, I've got a Harbor Freight power strip in the back, kind of blends in with the red. That was kind of the intent. A couple USB cables. Uh, one's a micro USB and one's a mini USB. I wish I just had a third one for USB-C. Then up here, I also keep other things like safety glasses, uh, level, my UV light. This is a remote start for my vacuum cleaner. And then over here, I've got work gloves, and then I've got a box of O-rings. And I try to keep this safe open so I can set other stuff in and out uh, if I need to, uh, other parts, or just anything else I need to be able to set up and have up there. Going down, let's look at the top drawer. In the top drawer in the box, this is my screwdriver drawer. So in terms of screwdrivers, all my screwdrivers are the Craftsman Made in USA Professional Series. They have a nice grip on them. Some of them even have that bolster nut. These are made by Western Forge. Obviously, Western Forge, unfortunately, is no longer making tools in the USA, and you can't buy these from Sears anymore, but that's just what it is. I also have a variety of, uh, I got a couple of Robertson screwdrivers, so I got especially Robertson number two if I'm doing pocket holes. I can then tighten them up or loosen them by hand for final tightening. I've got a couple of these uh, these are the made in Japan uh, Craftsman screwdrivers that rotate when you hit them on impact. Let's see what else we have up here. We also have a set of ball hex drivers. Again, kind of an older tool, but these work great, especially if I need to take apart knock down furniture inside the house. Those are all in standard sizes, and those work close enough even on most IKEA pieces of furniture. And over here on the right are my Torx drivers. So these are the long standard length torques. Uh, scattered in the middle here, I've got a ratcheting screwdriver. I've got a ratcheting, this is my Mac ratcheting bit driver. So I can drop in a variety of other bits in there and the cap holds, I got another video all about that on my channel, check it out if you want more information. A set of really small Torx drivers. These are for the really small Torx, like that's a T5 for example, I've got a whole set of those. And then in the back, I also have a few other really small drivers. And then all the way in the back, I've got a few of my odd ones. I've got my long reach Phillips and, and flat screwdrivers. And then because I liked my regular size Mac screwdriver so much, I got the extended reach one. And so this one is the same thing, just with a longer reach. I can drop a bit in there, no problem. Coming over here to the other side, I've got a regular bit holder screwdriver. Haven't used that one in a while. And then I've got my coin driver. This is probably one of my more odd tools. I've got another video all about that on my channel. Just look up for like PB Swiss coin driver. That's useful for opening up uh, remote controls on garage door openers or the like. And then also buried back here, I thought these would be more useful than what they are, but these are speed drivers where you can see where these turn, you put this on with your hand and you can theoretically tighten it more fast or more quickly. Unfortunately, I feel like those have been maybe a little bit of squandered money that I could have spent on something else, but they were interesting nonetheless. And, oh, and then I also have buried down here. i have only used these a couple of times, but these are just for really tight situations, these 90 degree angle drivers. I've got one of those in slotted, another one in Phillips. Uh, one other screwdriver of particular note that comes in handy sometimes, and that is a Reed Prince screwdriver. That this is a slightly different geometry on the end here, that if I've got trouble with a regular Phillips slipping out, this sometimes is the ticket. And I say sometimes because it doesn't do it all the time. Other times go into a posi drive driver. I've got some other posi drive screwdrivers that I keep in my house that I'm not showing in this video, but they are showing on my channel elsewhere. I also have this little slotted 
uh, driver here with a bit holder on it that I can retract to help hold a slotted screw. Handy when I've got to deal with small slotted screws. Moving on. Next drawer down, I've got a digital torque adapter over here. I think I've used it a couple times. I've got this little do-it-yourself project calculator. That's honestly been a waste of money. I've got a video on that. I need to replace that with a TI calculator that actually does the job like it's supposed to. Uh, other tools here, we've got a couple tape measures, 25 foot regular, and then I've got an eight meter metric one. Very useful for dealing with uh, car parts that are in metric. Small, quick handheld Milwaukee one. The best part of this is I can clip this on a belt loop so I'm not forgetting where I set down my tape measure. I'm sure many of you guys might have the same problem occasionally. And then I've got a 100 foot tape measure in the back. Uh, other tools in here, I've got a valve core tool. This is a snap-on tool. Very, very useful for checking valve cores and valve stems. We've got tire tread depth gauge. Going across here, scratch owl, screw starter. It's got this weird threaded end on it to help you start screws. I found that to be most useful in drywall. And then we've got a, a little small pry bar, kind of like the back of a hammer. A cotter pin puller, which I've used kind of more just like a heavy duty pick. Then we've got a chisel holder, very useful when I need to break out the chisels. And then a few other oddball things. I've got a couple magnetic pickup tools. These our tools are easy to forget about until you need them, because if you drop the wrong screw, say for a coil pack replacing spark plugs, uh, you'll greatly appreciate it. Small little uh, snap-on flashlight. I got a plumb bob, my small picks here. And then I also have a just a regular temperature gauge in case I got any question if my digital temp gauges are working fine. A string level. And then I also have a mirror over here, a regular tire pressure gauge. Don't use that a lot. Set of feeler gauges. I've got my dial calipers, just regular analog dial calipers work great. Another small LED handheld light, a couple carpenter pencils. And then we've got the sliding square. These are wonderful. This is Definitely an older version. This is a sliding T bevel, I guess is what it's officially called on the back. And then I've got my quarter inch Husky torque wrench there and a three eighths, I'm sorry, this is my half inch Craftsman uh, torque wrench up here. So just a variety of odds and ends and kind of specialty tools in that drawer. Moving down is kind of a junk drawer. I think we all have these junk drawers that are full of random parts. Let me just hit some of the highlights of some of the stuff in here I've got. Uh, in the back, I've got some uh, cotter pins. If you're replacing control arms or anything else with suspension, you might have some of those to deal with castle nuts. Oil drain plugs, red and blue Loctite. Uh, some other old parts and old screws of random sizes. Uh, angle brackets, small nails, washers, bolts, hooks. I've got a ton of these Drywall anchors, they seem to come with about everything. Other random size O-rings. Extra relay that I can test relays for being good. Uh, bulk pack of grease Zerk covers. Sometimes useful. Again, some more O-rings and a little uh, internal snap ring there. I don't remember what that one's off of. 10 penny nails. Don't know why I have those. And then I've got zip ties, because everything's better with zip ties. And then I've got these, what my wife refers to as industrial Q-tips. Just cotton swabs that are good for trying to degrease uh, difficult to reach areas. And then a 40 amp J-Case fuse. And some other chains that came with some of my shop lights that I replaced over here. And so again, this is just a lot of odds and ends. We go down to the next drawer. So in here, I've got fasteners. These are all mostly screws. I've got things like tile spacers, but these tile spacers are also great for woodworking projects when you know, separate beams. I built a picnic table a while back and I use these to space the 
uh, table beams apart from each other, provide a little bit of drainage space between the boards. Uh, up front, I've got a variety of sizes of pocket hole screws for various size materials that get connected together. Concrete screws, a few other oddball ones here. This is, uh, this is off my sob, I forget what this goes to, but an e-torque screw. And then I've got some of these four headed screws here. This goes to my garage door for the reels. A few extras of those, because those are just some weird sizes that you need an eight point socket for. Blind nails, that these require a special nail punch to put in. More odd fasteners. And then right here in this box is my Ikea set of posi drive screws. For some reason, Ikea is the best place to find posi drive screws. I know that's very weird to say, but they seem to be the most reliable place in the US to be able to find posi drive screws. Moving down, I've got my electrical drawer. So here I've got my battery tester. Check how my car battery is doing. And a variety of uh, other clamps and devices, some electrical tape here. So a lot of these clamps can plug in with an adapter into my multimeter. And this is a Bluetooth one. So this has actually been wonderful. I can then uh, connect it with my phone and then be able to see what the reading is. I had to replace an air conditioner uh, compressor clutch a while back and try to diagnose that from inside the car. This made it a breeze. I could sit there and see exactly how many amps it was drawing and when, as well as my amp clamp over here, a variety of butt splices here, a uh, light meter, uh, another clamp here for uh, just uh, measuring power tools, probes, temperature probes. See, these are other uh, different temperature sensors I can plug into the meter. Then here's a spark plug tester, put this in line with a spark plug and I'll show a little light inside this little bubble right there. That's from Lyle, works great. A uh, variety of wire strippers here for being able to strip various gauges of wire and be able to crimp it back together. Uh, some soldering tools here with brushes and everything else for doing some soldering. The brass is up here again, cleaning up soldering. And then I also have a snap-on set of uh, wire connector tools. These are the older style basic grip or uh, comfort grips. Work great when needed for dealing with wire splices, wire looms, wire connectors. Basically, it's a specialty pick set designed for electrical connectors. Uh, very useful when needed. Don't need to break those out very often, but when you need them, you need them. And then in this case here are more electrical leads or test leads for my multimeters to be able to clamp or reach in different ways. Okay, so that's all that's on the top drawers. Let's come around to the side. I've got a few other things here on the side of my cabinet. And so obviously you can see I've got a smaller, I believe this is a 30 inch top cabinet uh, over my bigger bottom setup here. So in the back, I've got this Harbor Freight uh, can holder and I've got a thing of engine degreaser and metal protector. I've got another uh, uh, little pocket light, a bunch of pens and pencils. And one of the things I love about pencils is I know whether it's cold, uh, they still work. Uh, they work when they're hot. It doesn't matter. Pencils work wonderful. I don't have to worry about running out of ink. And I can very tell by, or I can easily tell by looking at it, if it's running out of lead based on how long the pencil is. Underneath that is a pencil sharpener. Then on the right over here is one of those free Harbor Freight magnetic bars. But then I add it some magnets behind it. And then I'm using this to hold my small precision screwdrivers. So I've got those at uh, my whim. And then over here to the side is another workspace. I know you've seen this in a few other videos. I've got this snap-on mat. In fact, you can see there's what the bench used to look like. But then I've got this snap-on uh, utility mat. So I can set parts on here without getting everything cluttered. And there's a few other little spots in the back for setting bolts down. I don't know, it wasn't too bad. This was only like 30 bucks off the Snap-on guy. Um, I know it's a generic rebrand of the Benchtop utility mat that you can find other logos on. You know, I would uh, if somebody sold one of these without any logos and just had, you know, the coin or raised dots across the board, that would be my preference. But I don't think anyone makes them. They all want to put some sort of logo on it, whether it's a vehicle brand, a tool brand, or the Busted Knuckles garage brand, if you will. And then right behind my toolbox, I've got a power outlet and a battery charger, a radio up there, gotta have the tunes. I also have some hand saws, a couple yardsticks, 
roll of paper towels, a couple of the Harbor Freight lights. These are the Braun rechargeable lights. Those work great. And then I also have a few other of these parts trays on the box. I think I showed that earlier. This wraps up part one of the toolbox tour. I've separated this up into a couple of parts. I'll put a link to part two with a little card up in the top right corner and a link in the description to go on to part two. Look forward to seeing you there soon.